Scientists from the World Health Organization investigating the origin of the pandemic say that coronavirus is extremely unlikely to have leaked from a Chinese laboratory. But they were less clear about where the virus did come from. They presented their findings at a news conference in China after traveling to Wuhan, where the first case of coronavirus was recorded in December 2019. Our correspondent John Sudworth reports from there. It's one of the most important questions of our time. Where did the virus come from? But the scientists had more to say about what they hadn't found than what they had. It has not been possible to pinpoint any uh, animal species as a potential reservoir for this disease. And it doesn't look like there was wide uh, circulation of the virus in any animal species in the country. China's wet markets were once thought to be the prime suspect where the virus was most likely to have jumped from animals to humans. This market, linked to some of the earliest cases, was a particular focus, but with animal tests said to be negative, the team has come up with another theory. Frozen food, and an idea China itself has been promoting in recent months. The virus, they suggest, may have travelled to Wuhan on imported frozen produce. The WHO arrived here insisting this was going to be all about the science and yet signs of the politics have been there every step of the way. From the wrangling about access and timing, from the team's reliance not on its own investigation but on data provided by China. The questions about how independent these findings really are from China's own narrative are unlikely to go away. Locally, it's a narrative that's taken hold. On the banks of the Yangtze River, this fisherman says he's heard that the WHO is in town. It's impossible for the virus to originate from here, he tells me. It came from overseas. No interview. This is a press conference. I'm allowed to ask questions. People are taking photos. After the press conference, Chinese officials tried to stop any interviews concerned perhaps that they might lose control over such sensitive issues and few more sensitive than this. Some scientists believe the virus could have leaked from this laboratory known to have been experimenting on coronaviruses. But China had little to fear from the scientists we were able to speak to. Some have been calling the lab leak theory a conspiracy from the start. Given that this report rules out a lab leak, isn't your credibility on that somewhat undermined by the fact that you were ruling it oh, out sorry, before you yeah. even came here? A very large group of experts have looked at this. They've been to the various labs around the region, um, talked to people, asked critical questions, got critical answers, and they've come to their conclusion, and I have as well. And what they say is extremely unlikely, and that stands alone. COVID devastated this city first. And for now, its origins remain almost as much of a mystery as before. When asked why they'd ruled out a lab leak, Fiona, the team said it was because no records exist showing any virus similar to SARS-CoV-2 in any laboratory here in Wuhan. Now, some scientists, of course, will point out that not everything that happens in labs is published and that all this leaves one big question unanswered. How did a highly infectious disease travel all the way to Wuhan without causing similar outbreaks along the way? China and the WHO thinks, think frozen food might be the answer. Not everybody's going to agree. John in Wuhan, thank you.